Good morning, everyone. Today we will talk about how to calculate reinforcement for pet footing. Welcome back for today's episode. We will talk about how to calculate reinforcement for pet footing. Okay, let's look at these drawings. This is a typical section of pet footings. And the drawing here, they got stump, they got ground beam, they got column, and this is the ground floor level. So as we can see here, our human beam will be here. Okay, and this is a link concrete. And this part is our soil. Okay, this part is our soil. So today, we will calculate the reinforcement for pet footing this area. Okay. The drawing here shows the plan view and it shows the length. It includes the width of the pet footing. Let's look at the reinforcement in stump and pet footing here. Okay, so we got a uh, reinforcement for the pet footing here together with the stump. But today we will basically focus on the pet footing only. So we took away the stump reinforcements. So this is the information given. Okay, and we got x axis riba and y axis riba. Okay. For x-axis rebar, we call it as light blue bars and for y-axis rebar, we call it as dark blue bars. Okay. And we got a concrete cover of 40mm. Okay. Each end of the rebars, we got a concrete cover 40mm, 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 which are shown in a red color arrow. Okay. So this is the pad footing. Reinforcement concrete cover. So this is the plan view, and the length is 1.25 meter, and the width is 1.25 meter. So this will be the length. This will be the width. So let's calculate. So the first thing we have to identify the light blue bars. Okay, the light blue bars. Okay. So, length of light blue bars. We will start with this. Okay, length of light blue bars. Okay. So for length of light blue bars, as we can see here, okay, normally we break them into three sections. Okay. This is A, this is B, and this is C. Okay. This is A, this part is A, this part is B, and this part is C. Okay. So a equal to depth of footing the depth of the footing minus concrete cover this part both concrete covers so 2 so the depth of footing is 300 minus 40 mm minus 40 mm okay then we will get a 220 mm okay let's look at b okay b so b is here the okay, length of b the length of b is from here to here so for b same thing length of the footing Okay, length of the footing. Length of the footing is given 1250 minus 
both concrete cover at the side. Okay, both concrete cover at the side. CC minus CC. So, one two five zero length minus forty concrete cover both sides minus forty. So B is one one two zero mm. Okay, for C, okay, the length for C, this part is actually similar to A. Okay, length for C is actually similar to A. So C equal to A, which is actually two two zero mm. Okay, so total length. Is actually two two o plus one one two o plus two two o. We add up all a b c together, and we will get one six one o mm. Okay. So from here, we can see the number of bar. Okay. For the light blue bus, it's actually this, okay. How many numbers we got? Five Y, okay. Five numbers. So number of bar we got five. So total length of light blue bus, okay. Is actually. Five times one six one o. This is is for one length, one bar's length. So we will get eight o five o mm. So this is the total length for light blue bars. Okay. So next. Length of y axis, okay, y axis, which is the dark blue bus, okay, length of y axis, dark blue bus. So if you look at this drawing here, okay, we got five y. So we got five numbers here. So one, two, three, four, five. So we got five numbers. Okay, five numbers of dark blue bus. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five of them. Okay, so how we calculate? Same thing. This is A. This is B. This is C. Okay. So A is actually depth of footing. Okay, the depth of footing. Okay, the depth of footing is actually three hundred. Okay, three hundred. Here. Minus concrete cover both side top and bottom okay concrete cover 40 mm top and bottom so the answer is 300 minus 40 minus 40 and we will get 220 for b okay b this part okay this part because we are focusing at dark blue bus so b this part, the length is actually the width of the footing. Okay, minus the concrete cover at this part. 
concrete cover at this part okay so minus cc minus cc there are two concrete covers so width of the footing as we can see here the length is actually 1254 okay 1254 sorry this part 1254 1254 okay so 1250 minus 40 minus 40 so we get 1170 so C this part is actually similar to A so C equal to A which is actually 220mm so same thing we go to total length for one bar two two o a plus b one one seven o plus c two two o the answer is one six one o okay so total length for y axis okay total length for five bar at y axis total length for five blue bars is actually one six one o times five which is actually 8050 mm also because the di dimensions for x axis and y axis are the same okay one two five four okay so both three bars at x and y are in y12 okay thus we will get the total length of Y12 rebar by adding both light blues and dark blues bar together. Okay, so Y12 length is actually length of all light blue bars. Okay. Plus length of all dark blue bars, okay, which is actually light blue eight five zero dark blue. A five four, okay. This is for dark blue. Also A five four. Sorry, eight zero five zero. Pardon me. Eight zero five zero plus eight zero five zero in mm. So we get one six one o o mm. And the weight of Y twelve. is actually 0 0.888 kg per meter okay so we take the weight time with the total length then we will get the total rebar weights so as a conclusion total rebar width is actually this okay 0 0.88 kg per meter times 16100 mm okay if you convert to meter you divide by 1000 so you get meter so the total weight for rebar is 14.30 kg at the conclusion okay so this is the total rebar weight that we need for a pad footing okay for a pad footing so this is how we calculate the reinforcement okay thanks 
If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. There are more video related to construction related video. And hope you like it. Bye.